welcome to Hydrog World Chill Cases. I am Dr. Rajesh Katia. The case for today is a 35 year old lady who stays in the rural parts of the country, is a farmer by occupation. She has no uh, major illness in the past. She presented us with fever for eight days. She had body ache, she had nausea, no vomiting, decreased appetite, swelling on the face, swelling over the legs, and the most important, she had a rash all over the body. When we examined her, we found that she had a, uh, a mild ictrus, there were no lymph nodes, she was mildly febrile. She had, a, uh, the pulse and BP was okay. She, the liver and the liver was just mildly enlarged, respiratory system was normal. She had a pedal edema, she had a facial puffiness, but she had a generalized rash all over the body. This rash was a reddish patches all over the body, which you can see in the adjoining photo. She, the provisional diagnosis at this time when we did see her was, one was uh, because she was a farmer and from the rural parts of India, the first diagnosis was rickets cell fever. The second we thought was dengue because now we are coming into the dengue season and we have started seeing cases of dengue. And third, being an autoimmune disease, first we did the basic investigations. In the hemogram, the hemoglobin was 10, total count was 9,400, the platelet was 16,000. Bilirubin was 3 and the SGPT and SGOT were mildly deranged, say in hundreds. The urea was 140, greater than 2.6. So most of the organ systems were affected. The X-ray was normal. In the sonography, there was a mild hepatomegaly. Comes to the serological tests, the specific tests. Now for dengue, the dengue antigen and antibody both were negative. The, for rickettsia, we did the tropical PCR, which includes the rickettsia also, that was negative. Wild Felix was negative, Rickettsial, IgM antibodies were also negative. We, Leptospira antibodies were negative. We did the ANA blot for uh, uh, collagen workup, autoimmune, that was negative. So most of the tests right now, as of now, are negative except organ system involvement and a low platelet count. In the treatment, with a strong possibility of Rickettsia, we started on IV doxycycline and uh, the rest of the supportive management was on. She was admitted on day nine with us after the fever. Around four or five days, that is on day 13 or 14, the rash was increasing. So now the rash looked classical of a rickets seal rash with our past experience. Hence we repeated the wild felix again and this time the wild felix was strong positive. So this, is a, this was the case of rickets seal fever. In, in this meantime, she developed a very important symptom. She started telling us, I'm getting tingling and burning pain in both the upper and lower limbs. It was, uh, we initially neglected it. We thought, what is the significance? But then she kept on telling us that complaint again and again, see, I'm getting burning pain, do something about it. That's the time we got a nerve conduction done and we picked up a sensory motor neuropathy in her. So this was a very rare complication of rickettsia where you get a sensory motor polyneuropathy in rickettsia. She was put on pregabalin and amitriptyline for the same. In the next couple of days, she started improving with the treatment. The edema had gone. The kidney functions came back to normal. Creatinine was just 0.6 and the urea was 42. Her bilirubin has come back to normal. Aminase is settled. Rickett cell fever is a difficult disease to diagnose. Why? Because most of the confirmatory tests come positive much later. So how do you come go about diagnosing this fever? One is go on the clinical history. Second, you should do the test for rickets here. There are three important tests. One is the PCR, one is the antibody test and one is the wild felix. The rickets cell PCR comes positive in the first seven to 10 days after in the, of the fever. Wild felix and your rickets cell IgM antibodies are positive much later. That is after the 10 day of fever, sometimes even at 14 days, 15 days. And if it doesn't come positive, but you yet suspect rickets here, the test will be positive on literally 16 days, 17 days, 28 day also. You should keep repeating the test to get it positive. And we have seen that in trials that rickets cell test comes positive even up to day 21st, even if you don't get it positive in the first place. 
you have to understand that do you wait for treatment for these cases for the test to come positive on day 14? No. Rickett cell fever with multi organ dysfunction has a high mortality if you don't treat early. That's why you should start the patient with doxycycline immediately. You may do your test with high suspicion that is a farmer, he's got multi organ dysfunction, and the test can come positive later. If you do that, you can save many lives. I hope you like this video. Please stay tuned on to Hydoc virtual cases for most more such videos.